Foamcom was an amazing experience and I got to meet so many wonderful people that I have been looking forward to meeting for a long time now. Uh, I also got to sneak away from my booth for a little bit to, well, do some shopping. So uh, I figured why don't we go through and take a look at everything that I found at the wonderful booths of Foamcon. Let's just, let's just pour some of this out. We'll go, that's not even half the bag. Let's, let's, let's we'll start here. Uh, Captain Slug ran by and dropped off one of his new additions to the caliber design. This will help hold the uh, nuts in place and protect them from sliding off or, or loosening, which is awesome. That will be going on the caliber in a little while. Uh, containment crew, a mediator pump grip. This is something that uh, is cool looking. I need to get a mediator first before I can take a proper look at this. Now, real quick, this, this is a mix of stuff that I purchased and stuff that was given to me or stuff that I tried to buy but was not allowed to buy. Uh, so we've got, we've got an eclectic mix of things here as stuff falls on the ground, but a bunch of rev triggers, mag releases and whatnot from Grihas gear to go in various projects as the future progresses. A blaster holder for a mag stand uh, from, again, Grihas gear, which was pretty cool to have something else to hold my blasters if I want to display more than one now. Another Kronos grip, so if I want to do two Kronos blasters, I can now have a grip for both. Uh, Grihas' gear, uh, battery tray, and motor cover, which is nice because the motor cover I had, I, I had a... Well, well, we'll talk about that when we do our, our Fabu Strife video, which is coming up hopefully next week. These are some cast parts uh, that are Alice Codex design. I believe they were cast by Biggs. And these are uh, motor covers that they're pretty slim and sleek and low profile. So uh, we may see if we find a project for these as well. Uh, it's just kind of a nice little line design through there to keep things kind of clean looking. So definitely nice to have options. Grihas gear keychain. Uh, these are Zombona sock bombs from uh, End War 2018, Zombona machine. He dropped these off on my table unexpectedly. I turned around and they were sitting there. Uh, another Grihas gear battery tray. Project FDL water bottle, which is kind of sweet. I will definitely look forward to using that. Uh, a turf springs, uh, long shot 10 kilogram spring. I also have a 18.5 kilogram spring. So looking forward to getting to use these. I learned actually after purchasing this one, the 18.5 from, uh, well, Bubba Lolo's new long shot. I can't really prime the 18 and a half. So... I'm gonna, that, that'll that be interesting. Uh, I guess we're gonna be sticking to that one for now. Uh, and then one other thing before we move on to the next part is something I was super excited about and knew I had to buy before I even got to FoamCon. And this is Devil Z's um, st stock attachment. It's, it's magical. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this buffer stock did not come with it, but he does sell them with them. Uh, that was actually a, Gift from Foam Blast. Thank you, Foam Blast. I now have something to use with it because it's fabulous. So this is just an amazing blue that looks fantastic and actually sparkles, which even better, right? Uh, it's got some foam on the back to give you a nice soft support. It, it's just, it's perfect. The thing is just absolutely awesome. You can, of course, adjust it to your preferred length. I think my preferred length currently is not the furthest out, but one from the furthest out. And it just, it looks great. Um, I'm absolutely stoked. There's some other stuff I'm going to be purchasing from uh, Devil Z uh, when he gets back to Germany because there's some stuff I got to see that I am very interested in and want to test and review. So that's, all right, that's little, that was little batch one. Let's, let's pour out some more, see if we can find some space here. Uh, everywhere. Oh God. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a we we got a lot. Um, we we got a. Oh, stay on the table. Stay on the table. Almost. Almost. Okay. Oh, how did how did that even happen? How did that even happen? Oh, I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I guess we'll start with this. Um, 
This is a Pro 26 from, oh God, what did I do? How did that, uh, how does that even, what did I, it's like a, oh no. It's like a, well, I guess that's stuck on that for now. I'll figure that out later. But this is the Pro 26, supposed to be a more reliable K26 that does not degrade over time. This is from Turf Springs as well, uh, sold by Foam Freaks. So that is something I was very curious to test over time. So we've got that uh, to see, and I dropped, the, dropped some stuff here. Um, all right, Nerf Modders patch. A bunch of business cards. We've got Project FTL, Neptune Nerf, OFP, uh, both Jesse and Jackie from Project FTL. Stickers of oh, this uh, JT Blaster Labs, who does some cool uh, aesthetic work, and they are doing some very interesting things as well in terms of function. This was given to me by. Oh, shoot. They were so nice, and I can't remember the name. It's not Gorilla Tactical. It's, uh, maybe it is. Is it? Oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. There were so many people. I was afraid this was going to happen. Uh, but please, please, if you're watching, please let me know who this, who sent, who gave me this because this is super cool. It's, uh, just a belt mounted lightweight holster that, I mean, it's, it's pink. Like, how could I not like it? So I will find a way to use this for a game somewhere sometime down the line. Uh, we've got a Thunderdome NES cartridge that I think is super cool. Uh, I actually kind of want to plug this in and see what, uh, what, we, what, what we got. But thank you, Rob. If you have not seen Thunderdome, do yourself a favor, watch it. Find somebody that you think may enjoy Nerf, watch it. Find somebody that's having a rough time in life right now and needs something to give them some perspective, bring them with you, watch it. It's worth, it's worth the cost to, to watch that. Uh, Rehost Gear vinyl sticker of a nice skyline with a galaxy pattern, dig it. Plenty of stickers from all kinds of companies. We got Foam Blast, we got DV Tests, we got Bobo Lolo, we got Project FTL, Atomic Dart League, uh, Monkeytron Collective, Brit Nerf, more Foam Blast, more DV Tests, Grigos Gear, Foam Freaks, Turf Blaster Springs, uh, more of Atomic, OFP, Foam Blast, and MTB. A lot of stickers. Now, we've got some other stuff from Monkeytron, and this is a cool bandana that I, I kind of don't want to take, or this is a FDT, I think. Yeah, Foam Dark Thunder bandana. I kind of don't want to take it out of the package. I kind of want to leave it in there. These, oh my goodness, I could not believe that Grihas left me these. But uh, we've got a couple, like, clear acrylic, and then a few End War special clear motor covers. So I think what we're gonna do is one of these will be a giveaway. I think we're gonna do a giveaway for one of these and I'll see if I can get a uh, the proper motor cover. I'll, I'll buy one of those from Brihas and have that sent out with this to someone. We'll figure out how to do it. I'll, I'll announce it in a different episode, but I want uh, those of you that were unable to make it to End War to maybe have a chance at getting something from End War. So we'll, we'll do that. Strife uh, battery or motor cover uh, and war exclusive as a giveaway in the future. But thank you, Grias Gear. That is awesome. Another Grias Gear cover. Uh, K26, I think, I would assume for a Kronos. And then two more from Containment Crew, their Kronos Spring, which looks to be uh, specifically made for the right length and finish so it's all flat edged and everything or close to. Uh, which is nice, so we'll, we'll definitely have to test these out. We have FoamCon and War Exclusive, Athens 2018, Cyclone Wheels from Containment Crew. These things look awesome. I don't think I want to use them. I think they will be staying in bag because they are just that cool. More Grios Gear keychains, uh, Containment Crew keychain, a tactical hydration device from Foam Blast, I love this. This was such an entertaining idea. I love this. Um, all right, I think uh, I think we're finally. Oh, and a, a flared magwell for the uh, rapid strike, which I have in my rapid strike currently. Highly recommend. Definitely love that thing. Now I think we're on to uh, patches. A sticker from Silver Fox Industries. 
Yeah, I think all we've got is patches, the thing that you know I was super amped about going into this. A nice little keychain here from JT Blaster Lab. <clears throat> we have got Project FDL patch, Captain Slug patch, a new patch uh, from Velocity Blasters, a JT Blaster Labs patch, the official End War patch for the event. I am a little bummed this does not have Velcro on the back, same as the one from last year. So I'll have to find some Velcro, put some Velcro on this, and then put it up on the, uh, on the wall. A uh, Suburban Detroit Nerf Club patch, which is pretty cool, like a Maverick with the skyline there. I, I dig that, that's, that's a cool idea. Monkey Tron, which is awesome. I had a great time meeting them finally. They are super cool people. Uh, big shout out to them. Blaster Core, they do some cool stuff. They do um, afterburners that you can put onto any uh, point, uh, barrel attachment point, which was awesome. So that was cool to see them. Uh, 100G's Armory, which also does Thunderdome, Minnesota. So it was awesome to get some stuff from them as well. And then the other things I purchased in terms of patches, we have got a Drac patch, a Bobololo patch. Ooh. A Liberty Foam Designs patch, which is the company that blended in with another company to become Foam Freak. So I had to get a Liberty Foam Designs uh, patch before they became extinct. And then uh, as for the rest of the patches, you'll notice these are jangular patches, but there's a little change to this particular design that's available for sale now. Boom! Look at that red Velcro on the back instead of white. Gives a nice little pop on the side that I really, really like. And you'll notice these, these Fabu patches, there's three more Fabu patches. Well, what's, why are there three more? There's a little bit of a, a little, bit, little bit of text right there on the bottom, which you may or may not be able to say. It's just a glow in the, and there's no D, but it's a glow in the dark. These three Fabu patches are glow in the dark. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we do with these in the future. But that is it for bag number one. There's still more. Can you believe it? There's still more. I went out and I, I, I was on a mission for a very short period of time that I had available. I was on a mission. There's also this cool thing that uh, Containment Crew put in their little uh, bag that they gave out. There was a list of a bunch of upcoming events for those of you that want to find an event maybe near you. And of course, we have a BTA event listed on here, which is awesome. So I thought that was a really cool idea from them and then a couple stickers and a zombie hunting permit. I love this. This is such a cool idea. Absolutely think that was a, a really, really clever idea to do. So big ups to containment crew for that. But let's get to the next bag. And this bag is mostly one type of thing. I think you'll figure it out pretty quick here. Ah, there we go. That's a whole bunch of cloth fabric there. Uh, this is actually not from FoamCon. I brought this because that's my design, but we'll talk about that another time. Uh, Thunderdome Rob gave me some Vortex discs, which with the resurgence of Vortex is awesome. Foam Blast shirt, finally got to have one of these. However, this is a special limited edition Foam Blast shirt. It has the Pride Rainbow going across the logo. Super cool, glad I got this. This was actually the last one they had in stock and it was in my size. So really, really amped about that. Uh, so that's one. And then we've got a couple shirts from Turf Blasters, uh, which is uh, one is Fear My Foam, which is sweet. And then just the Turf uh, Blaster Springs general logo here, which was awesome as well. And we've got Blaster Core, who we talked about before. I like the back of their shirt. Uh, <laughs> It says, we make things no one asked for. I thought that was really entertaining and uh, was super awesome to get one of those. Uh, we can't, can't talk about shirts without a Project FDL shirt, which has the, the FDL logo on the front and the blueprints of the FDL 2 on the back. Definitely cool. Definitely glad to have one of these. And I picked up an ammo counter shirt from Nathaniel Deal, which uh, is someone I've wanted to meet for quite a while. Definitely a fan of their work. Glad to have one of these. And then we got a regular foam blast shirt, which is super cool. Glad I've been wanting one of these for so long. So to get both the regular version and the uh, limited edition version, I am uh, I'm super happy about that. 
And one more shirt. We got the War What Is It Good For Absolutely Nerfing shirt. And that is a cool shirt with an uh, entertaining phrase that we all know and love. So I'm big and happy on that. But that is not it. There are, there's uh, one more thing that I want to talk about from uh, a lovely patron that showed up. And they brought me two things, actually. Where is the first thing? The first thing is right here. The other thing they brought me is right here. They brought me some Tim Tams. Uh, and something I love that we don't see here in the States, there's a health star rating on these. It's 0.5. 0.5 stars. So these aren't going to be good for me. And normally I would not eat anything like this because of my health issues and my stomach issues. Uh, but um, because he brought these, I, I feel like I have to have them. I have to try them. Absolutely have to. Uh, so I'm going to be having these at some point and enjoying them. And thank you so much for even considering bringing me something. Now let's talk about this. This is something that I was super blown away by, super surprised by. And uh, this is something that Pandemonium made for me and is so cool. I, I couldn't help but keep it on my table at the event because of how unique and interesting it was. Now we've talked about targets in the past and this, well, this is a very unique take on a target. There we go. So this pops up and the whole thing is magnetized and I uh, start putting stuff on, it catches on there and well, I'll put, I'll put that on there and uh, I guess we'll, we'll grab, we'll grab one of these and we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll take that, put that on there and you'll probably get an idea of what this is, but we'll put that there and yeah, we'll put that there and that is a zombie target that collapses when you hit it and pieces come off, and you could just, you could, how cool is that? How cool is that? This thing, like, blew my mind. The amount of, of work he must have put into this to put it together, to put magnets inside all the pieces. Like, there's, there's magnets buried in the wood here, and just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Pen thank you. This was such a cool thing, and such a cool idea that I could not believe it and felt super thankful that you would consider to bring me something like this. So uh, that is just absolutely awesome and was the icing on the cake that was FoamCon. And the sad thing, uh, we also got, before I forget, got some Monkey Tron Collective and Ammo Counter darts. I want to get all of the darts from uh, all the people, or the companies that have their own darts, and I want to get at least one of each, and I want to do a display of like each brand with their dart and everything and I'm just dropping stuff everywhere but that's just something I had a thought of but the, the crazy thing is I actually didn't get to all of the booths I missed a few booths so there's some things I may not have gotten to that I wish I would have which bums me out severely but next year hopefully I will be better prepared and be able to get to everything uh, but for this year I'm glad I was able to get all of the stuff that I did and meet all the people that I did and have all the fun that I did at FoamCon. So uh, with that said, let me know what you think of this, uh, this wonderful haul from FoamCon. Uh, is there anything you think I should have bought from that event that maybe I didn't? Oh my goodness, there's actually more. There's actually more. Here I am closing out the video and I forgot two important things. A limited edition metal strife mag release from containment crew and some special end war woo there we go end war fang revamped from foam blast all right that i knew i was forgetting something but that is gonna do it so what you think of all of this from this wonderful haul at foam con did i miss anything anything you would have got that i should have uh, if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jacob and i'll see you next time